Hey, it's LK, and today Speed Build is actually a Spanish style home, and it's in Oasis Springs. So I don't build in Oasis Springs all too often, but lately I've been trying to get more into it. I actually really enjoy doing Spanish style homes in real life. That's one of my favorite kinds of architecture that I like. So I've been trying to do a few more of them, and I really love the way that this one turned out. Um, so I imagine that a young professional couple, or maybe even just a single sim, lives in this house. There's only the one bedroom, there's one bathroom, it has both a tub and a shower though, so you know, living large, and it has a, a dining room, a decent sized kitchen, a foyer, like where, the little part where you enter. I'm from Canada, so we pronounce it foyer and not foyer, just in case you're confused. And then there's also the living room, and I think it has a nice fireplace and everything. It's actually a really, really nice house. It's not a starter by any means, but it turns out really, really nice. I like this one a lot. So I actually edited out a lot of the landscaping. There's not a ton of landscaping. It is a desert climate, so they're not gonna have like the most lush plants. So it's a lot of cacti and yeah, it's, it's not, not, not anything too crazy, but I actually really like the simplistic look that I, that I ended up going for. You'll see it in a moment here. I'm getting up to it. So this house, yeah, there we go. So I added in some stuff, but then like, I mean, I mean, I know I just spoke about how there's not gonna be a lot of plants because it's a desert climate. And then I added a bunch of vines to the fireplace area. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. It just looked nice, okay? It's The Sims, it doesn't really matter, but it looked nice. <laughs> Anyway, so now I'm just working on the floor plan, and I know I definitely switched this up a whole lot. It just changed, it changed a bunch of times. I edited this down a lot, and I think this is what I, yeah, this is what I've ended up going with. I'm just placing the windows, trying to get, like, the right heights, trying to figure them out. Like, I love those windows that came with, they were the seasons ones. Sometimes I get those confused with the ones that came with cats and dogs. They're similar, but they're uh, they're not exactly the same, obviously. Um, so yeah, those are the ones from seasons because I thought they fit the architecture of this build really well. And I wanted to go with dark floorboards, and um, I love that tile from Jungle Adventure. It goes perfectly in this house. It's really really pretty. And talking about pretty those rugs i love that style of rug especially the one that's going to be in the master bedroom i love that rug that's my favorite one in the whole game and it's actually so cheap too it's in the catalog it's pretty cheap i think it's you know what i have no idea how much it is i think it's under 100 simoleons but i could be very wrong i'm yeah i don't know but it's my favorite in the game i love it so i decided to add a little uh pergola is that what that's called i don't know just like that lat like the lattice the overhang part over the back deck it just added some interest to the build i don't know it felt like it needed it and i'm actually adding in oh what do you call those that that, that part that goes around the the top the roofing like eaves is it the eaves i don't know I should probably edit that out, but let's, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> this is the struggle, right? Sometimes you just forget what things are called. Anyway, so I'm um, going into the bedroom now and I added some pictures. I added a Jerry, of course. I'm a fan of Dr. Gluon, so you gotta add a Jerry when, you, when you're doing a build, that's for sure. And if you don't know, Jerry is that, see the picture of the, the guy over the bed? Uh, Dr. Gluhan named him Jerry, and he is our, um, he's our leader. It's just a casual cult, you know, but I don't know. It's fun. The robes are fun. The robes are really nice. They're like this, like, satin. I don't know. I like them. Anyway, the back to the bedroom. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite bedrooms that I've done. I would definitely live in here. I love it. Just the very simple, um style like i love the black drapes with the white walls the shiplap behind the bed i oh i put some shelves over the bed here so that we could put some candles on there i thought that looked really nice i'm putting my favorite lamp of course a nice reading chair and then there's the dresser the mirror there's like that bookshelf oh i love those lamps too I, those came with seasons for sure i know that and then i added a little desk too because 
I mean, like I said, you could have just one sim living here, and like maybe that's this is their like just casual computer. Because I do put a an actual like main desk space out in the living room. But if you had two sims, then they can both be on their computers at the same time, which would be handy. Because yeah, I don't know. I feel like each sim kind of needs their own computer because. Pardon the interruption. This is editing LK here just to um, save you from the awkwardness that was recorded at this point. I'm just going to keep talking over it until it goes away. Trust me, I am doing you a very vital service. It was awkward. You would die of secondhand embarrassment. It was bad. It's just about over and I think we're safe. All right. So I added a little table in this center area because I'm just trying to fill up some space and I think I put a little chair there too, like somebody could eat at that table. I don't know, it's kind of cute, you could prep on it. Just added something to the space. It's a very simple layout, it's nothing too crazy. Like the people, you know, it's not an expensive house but they've decorated it really well. I mean, of course I'm going to say that, I decorated it. <laughs> So of course I like it and I hope you do too. Like let me know in the comments if you like the way that I've decorated this build. Furnishing is my favorite part. I mean, I don't know if I'm the strongest builder, but I'm pretty confident in my furnishing. I really like furnishing. Anyway, it took me a long time to think figure out what I was gonna put on this angled wall here that you see. I could not for the life of me figure out what I was gonna put there. What I what I just put there doesn't stay. <laughs> yeah, it moves. So don't get too attached to that. And I think this is where we're adding in the fireplace, yes. So I did end up going with the Jungle Adventure fireplace and I sized it down. I'm not gonna admit, I did not play test this, so I think the, I hope the animations are okay with it sized down. I think I've seen other people do it, so I think it's fine. I should have play tested this, but I didn't. Anyway, um, it is up on the gallery. If you want to go and play test it, you can. <laughs> so my gallery ID is shygirl938. Yes, it is an embarrassing name to have on there, but I mean, it was my, I don't know, it's the name I've gone with online for a while. So that's just my origin ID. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm adding a uh, collage wall because I love a good collage wall. Who doesn't, right? This living room comes together really nicely. I would imagine that the people that live here, or person, I, like I said, whatever, um, I would imagine that they would entertain quite a lot. And yes, now we're adding in the other little desk area, or I thought we were. Yeah, here we are. So we're going to be adding in a, another desk, so more, so yeah, that'll be handy, especially for times right now where a lot of people have to work from home. Um, I don't know what the person that lives here, like, what they would do for a living. I would imagine maybe something creative. I know that I have a, um, an easel that ends up going in and a guitar, and then there's the two computers. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if those are their hobbies or if that's their work somehow. I imagine that they're a freelancer of some sort. That's how I was picturing it, so that's why I wanted to make sure to add, like, the two desks. So either if there's two sims or just the one. It would just kind of make sense. Yeah, I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted that painting big or small. I think it does end up staying big. I think. It's one of my favorites. That one came with, oh, what was it? Get Famous. And I love, love that painting. The square paintings are just the best. So yeah, okay, so I shifted stuff around in the dining room and I decided to add in a hutch over there where they keep their nice china for when they entertain. And I, and oh, I added the, uh, those l leaf wooden cutouts that came with Eco Lifestyle. That turned out looking really good in that space. And okay, yeah, so we have the front, uh, I don't know what to call it, that's why I'm struggling. Um, front patio, I guess? Yeah, I guess it's like a front patio area. Um, yeah, you can go out there and hang out. Like, it looks so pretty at night. So I put a bunch of different lanterns and whatnot out, and it looks really pretty at night. And this is where the easel and the guitar end up going. 
So yeah, the people that live here, they would probably entertain quite a bit. Like, this would be a really nice area to just have, like, a small conversation or have a glass of wine. I don't know. Just, it, oh, it could be a really romantic date spot. Yeah, there's, it would be, a, this is a good house to have people over. And this backyard is great for entertaining. There's going to be a pool. And, oh, I added this, um, I guess it's like a planter area. That, that raised part with the stone all around it. That's from By Debug. And I had fun using that here, especially since it goes... I mean, I, it's from the Debug for Oasis Springs. So that's why it matches the lawn perfectly. So I couldn't pass the opportunity up to use it in the backyard. I'm just adding in some chairs and a table. And I added in a barbecue. There's the pool. There's going to be a nice couch and a lounge. I think I add an, a little fountain too, so the ambiance is going to be great. <laughs> and some succulents, not lots of, um, lots of plants, but plants that I figured would be able to survive in the desert heat. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and enjoy the screenshots. Like I said, there I didn't show the foyer or the bathroom, but they will be in the screenshots, so definitely make sure to check those out. And like I said, also, you can download this lot. It is, is on the gallery. My gallery ID, again, is shygirl938. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you for the next one. Bye! Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!